All right, everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot. Welcome back to more Chow Resort Island. Actually, let me just in case. Uh, down, up, down, up. Options resume, options resume. X. Just in case my stuff desyncs, it tends to do that. It makes editing a lot more painful. Uh, so, sync it back up. Anyways, welcome back to more Chow Resort Island. I did pretty much exactly what I said I was going to do. I ran Hapo through a few more races, and then I bought Hapo a bunch of fruit. So that way we can fill his belly meter back up. And so we're going to feed everybody real quick, and then we're going to get started on this... This little, this new little power egg. Gonna get a get a new Chow, <laughs> alive and well. It occurred to me, Hapo's already got these races maxed out. So if I wanted to, I don't actually have to spend money on fruit for him because these fruit all make him better. I could just give him the regular stamina fruit, and I mean he wouldn't level up anymore. But he doesn't need to level up anymore. He's already destroying the level five races. I'm hoping it'll come in handy. You know, I ho I'm hoping this will still pay off. Uh, working him up to level 100 or the max level or whatever that is. Um, since uh, since there might be some new Chow games coming out in the, in the next update. Let me find Weezer. Give Weezer the plain Jane fruit. That belly meter full. It still bugs me that the Chow's belly meters all drain. Like, these guys almost drain as fast as Hapo does when Hapo's doing races. But Hapo's doing races. He's supposed to lose belly meter. These guys aren't doing races. They're not supposed to lose belly meter, you know? But they do. So I'm hoping that gets fixed. That is, I don't know if it's like, he's got to know. He's definitely got to know it's a thing, the guy who makes this. If he's doing it on purpose, I'm not sure why he's doing it. But uh, it is something that annoys me. It makes me think, I haven't actually checked on the on Sola or Beat, the Chow in the other garden. Makes me think, though, that their belly meters are probably low, too, since it's a garden thing. Maybe, maybe it's tied to the garden of the specific Chow you're using. I don't know. But uh, between Sola and Beat, it, uh... Definitely makes me think that their belly meters are probably like through the ground right now, and I don't, just, I just don't bother to go in and feed them because time will never pass. By the way, it is officially over an hour and a half activity time. If I stand still for a second, you guys will see the activity meter pop up in the corner. I was told once again by the very helpful Chow Resort Island Discord that an hour and a half is the bare minimum activity timer time limit before Chow start evolving. So we might want to keep an eye on Weezer. We might want to keep an eye on Hapo, because any second, these little bastards could cocoon up and become totally different. In fact, I know I said we were going to get to the egg this episode, and I really hope we will, but I, instead, I want to save my game here real quick, and I want to come back in with Sonic for one more round. I want to come back in with Shadow for one more round. I know they look dark aligned and, and light aligned and everything, but I want to just double check. I want to triple check. I want to definitely make sure these guys are going to be 100% uh, aligned to the type I want them to because we are at the point where literally any minute they can evolve according to what the very helpful Chow Resort Island people told me. Uh, why did I go into this menu? They, to the best of my knowledge, unless they dropped one in the Discord that I didn't see, there haven't been any more secret Chow update. They gave us Sola and they gave us... Uh, they gave us beat back to back, and they were really cool Chow, at least to show off. Sola doesn't really have anything special about her, but she was kind of neat to look at at first since I'd never seen a, a partially hero line Chow before. But they gave us Sola. Oh. Sorry about that. They gave us Sola, they gave us beat. Um, and beat, beat's real cool looking, and apparently he's a Jet Set Radio nod. Uh, like I said, I don't really know those games very well, but yeah, it's cool nonetheless. He's, he's real cool looking, and I can't complain at all. Um, they did kind of put me in turmoil for a minute because I didn't know what to do with, uh, I don't know where to put, like, I didn't have enough fruit to go around. But they were cool looking nonetheless. Looking forward to a third event. Hopefully he drops, like, maybe a, hopefully he starts dropping stuff like Shadow type Chow, Sonic type Chow. You remember you can make Sonic Chow and Shadow Chow in, uh, in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle? It'd be cool if you could, if he would drop, like, a Tails Chow. Or if he would drop, like, a, I don't know. Like an Amy Rose Chow, that'd be neat. How do I... I wanna... Oh, there we go. Pet, duh. We're gonna pet him until his mood's good, until the hearts go away. Um, he just got fed, so his mood started to be kind of high anyway, but... Yeah, there we go. His mood's full. He's not really showing signs of being a dark type yet. We did get Gangsta later, so he won't evolve until later, which is fine. Let me find this fella right here. He is probably not, like, as dark as he can be, but he's got to be pushing it. Like, his his red is not too far off from Shadow's red, you know what I mean? His, his black is not too far off from Shadow's black, so it, he's got to be just about pushing the barrier of how uh, 
how dark he can really get. And we've got, looks like, one more pet in us after this one, just to just to make sure. And then we'll come back in here with Sonic. The nighttime could also be thrown with it. You guys probably noticed I put I put nighttime on. We played with morning a lot, then I turned it to evening for a couple parts, and then I turned it back to nighttime. We're going to save. We're going to pet up Hapo with Sonic. Actually, what is Hapo's mood? He, oh, cool. He's got a lower mood. Good. The lower his mood is, the more we can influence him, which is great. Um, we'll come back in with Sonic. We'll pet him up. And then we'll go get the egg. And then we'll go, we might get the egg in this part. The egg might not hatch till next part. I'm not sure. But uh, day and night time, day, evening, and night don't really change anything. I saved, right? Surely I saved. I'm going to save again just to be sure. Other than, other than the way it looks, um, I did want to talk to you guys about we were only on evening for two parts. Uh, there was a big gap, like like a week gap and then this, uh, before one part, and there's been a couple day gaps since since this session started going up. I just wanted to clarify something on that. I was about to leave for PAX South. I thought I was going to have time to record a, a couple episodes of Chow Resort Island and then uh, and then upload you know the couple episodes for while I was gone. Turns out I had enough time to record approximately one episode of Chow Resort Island, and then I made a stupid error when I left. Like, I literally clicked upload on this video as I was walking out the door to leave my house to go to PAX West uh, for the weekend, because I was gone. I was gone for the whole weekend. I was gone until Tuesday, didn't get back till Wednesday. And I uploaded it to the wrong channel, uploaded Chow Resort Island to the main channel, and I wasn't going to make it live on the main channel because this is an LP channel thing, so I had to come back, delete that, and then re-upload it to the LP channel. That's why it took a week for a part to come out. Uh, that being said, parts on like parts for Chow Resort Island, I don't want to keep them on a consistent schedule anymore because until this 1.18 update comes out, and even then... This still kind of has, there's only so much content I can make on this. So if you guys are okay with, with maybe two times a week-ish, uh, one to two times a week, I think that's kind of what I'm going to try and keep it at Don't as far as Chow go. I know a lot of people subscribe to this channel, and a lot of people found this channel because of Chow Resort Island. And I want to bring you guys all the content in the world, I really do. But since there's not specific, since I can't really make Chow look... Don't I don't know, it, it's, it's not in depth yet it's not as in depth as it would need to be yet you know what i mean there's not specific chow types like there's hero dark and neutral but there's not hero flying there's not dark running you know what i mean they don't flesh out as far as that goes um let me go get i'm just gonna go get knuckles again i can be sonic for this it's not a big deal i can be sonic for this so let's save anyways what i'm trying to say is that even when they introduce the new resort even when they introduce the new section even with Chow being able to play with toys. As of right now, there's still only so many parts I'm going to be able to make on this before it starts to... Before it starts to get... Eh, you know what I mean? Like, right now, I'm already doing Chow races a lot. I'm doing a lot of Chow races off camera because I'm grinding for Chow tokens and trying to get Chow leveled up more. And I'm sitting in the garden with nothing happening because I want Chow to... Uh, I want Chow to be able to evolve uh, for you guys. But... I. I'm doing a lot of off-camera work already, is what I'm trying to say. I can't really get the words out. And even so, I can already kind of see the cap. If I can only I can only make so much content on this before it becomes stale, be before I start doing the same stuff over and over again. And I've already done a lot of that, as you guys can see. But if you guys love the series, so like I said, I'm going to keep it going. Uh, the end is not in sight yet, by any means. We still, gotta, still have quite a few parts to put out on this, I think. And then the 1.1 update, whatever that brings us. And then it might get to the point to where maybe I only do parts when updates come out. I don't want it to be like that, but like I said, there's just there's only so much. If you ever do just crave, if you ever just need more Chow content, there is an 80 plus part Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Chow Garden playthrough on the LP channel as well. You can look it up uh, under my playlist. And that is a lot of content. That is that is 80 plus parts. That is so much content of Chow. If you guys ever want to go check that out, feel free. Uh, I did put a lot of work into that playthrough, even though it's still technically not over yet got a lot more work to be done uh we, we i agreed on sky blue right i was gonna say we agreed on sky blue but i didn't ask you guys for crap i agreed on sky blue didn't i let's pick this up so we're gonna come out here and the way i did the test the first time so unless he patched it out it's gonna still be the same Let me actually pull there we go but it, yeah unless he patched it differently it's still gonna be the same i should be able to come here we're gonna save our game <coughs> excuse me so now, now we're saved. The Chow stats shouldn't be recorded yet. The Chow stats shouldn't be recorded until after I pull the egg out. So now that we've saved our game, I come in here. We plop the egg down. There's no way. We can't really pet the egg. I don't think. Yeah, can't really pet the egg. So we just kinda, we're just going to wait a second for the uh, for the egg to come out on its own. Here, Hapo, play this. Great job, Hapo. That's the only toy they interact with, and that's all they do to interact with it. 
I bought the other toys for decoration. We are gonna give, I think we're gonna give uh, Gangsta the run on swimming soon. They're gonna give Gangsta the run he deserves on swimming because he is level, oh, good shit, Gangsta. All right, playing a little defense. Playing a little defense, I see. Actually, I don't need to pick him up. Yes, I do. Gangsta, he's level 40. He's level 40. I think whatever race he's on, he's ready to move on to the next. I think whatever race Gangsta's on, he's ready to move to the next one. You feel me? All right, I'm making small talk. We're waiting for this egg to pop out. We're waiting to see if Hapo and Weezer attempt to evolve here anytime soon. Again, one and a half hours, probably the bare minimum. I bet I bet the average is probably around two hours. Probably depends on how much food you fed them. Probably depends on how high their mood is on average. Probably depends on stamina. Maybe it's random after an hour and a half. Maybe every minute that passes, there's like a 2% chance. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Anything special here? And again, we're looking for we're looking for power type specific. All right, plain Jane face, plain Jane face, old no name. Uh, we're looking for he got an A in running, which is not bad. B in swimming, he's not a terrible chow. He's just he's not what we're looking for. We're looking for we're looking for power type. So I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna take you guys with me for one more. Oh, if, I gotta bring my chow to Professor Cowabunga. We gotta bring our chow to Professor Cowabunga next time. He said I'll tell us more about him. I don't know what that means exactly. But I'm going to bring you guys with me on this adventure one more time. And if we don't have, if the chow doesn't hatch that we, kind of chow that we, if he's not an S in power type, then I'll, we'll get an S in power type off camera. How's that sound? Did I save my game? Oh, okay. Thank God. I didn't think, I didn't think it was in the menu. I did I was freaking out there for a second. I did not think my chow egg was still, was still in there. Um... But yeah, so if this guy is in an S rank, we're looking for S ranks, since I found out that they don't level up by evolving. Looking for S ranks in power. If this dude's not an S rank in power, then we'll back out. We'll keep trying until we get one that has an S rank in power. I don't even think I would take an S rank in running at this point, to be honest, because Hapo's an A, but like he's already so far along. Like, look, look at this guy. He's already level 19 in running. I don't want to do 19 more levels in running, even if the Chow was an S. It would technically be like maybe 14, 15 levels in running before he'd be tied with Hapo point-wise because that's how the grade system works. S is better, obviously, but still. I don't think I'd want to mess with that. I think I'd rather just get Hapo to level, you know. Hapo would be good to go at level 40-ish. You know what I mean? If he had an S in swimming, Gangster's already level 40. That's pointless. We're really, I only care about power as far as this goes. We'll see We'll see when this guy hatches, though. And then if he's not an S rank, then I'll, I'll get him off camera. We'll pick up an S rank power type off camera, which could take me hours, to be completely honest. But uh, I'm hoping that's not the case. I haven't actually seen an S rank yet. You guys were all telling me, like, oh my god, Thundershot. My first chow was a shiny S rank in every stat. And I'm like, what the hell? You guys are nuts. Uh, uh oh. All right. So I'm a little concerned about him being a no name again. Nope, different stats. A in running, B in power, though. But yeah, you guys are like, my shell was a shiny, a shiny shell with an S rank and everything. In case you guys don't know, Chow have a very small chance to be shiny. Um, I don't know what they look like exactly. I just know they look different. They are obviously different and shiny. I also don't know for sure, and you guys can tell me in the comment section down below if you do know, if shiny Chow can apply to any Chow or if it's got to be the normal type Chow. Normal type Chow, I mean Hapo and Weezer, not the not the colored Chow you buy like Gangsta or Beat, or, you can't really buy Beat, but you know what I mean, or Beat or No Name here, who is about to get erased from existence, by the way, as I click exit without saving. Um, I don't know if Shiny Chow can apply to all of them or not, all of them or not, but anyways, I did want to give a thank you, I've been talking about how helpful the Discord has been, but you guys in the comment section have also helped me out a lot with stuff you figured out, just letting me know, because I ask questions constantly as I play through this, and sometimes they're rhetorical questions, and sometimes they're questions I really wish I knew the answer to. You guys are always more than willing to answer those uh, if you know it. They're always willing to like give your input and weigh in on that. Uh, and I do appreciate that a lot. I just wanted to point that out. I have taken some some helpful tips from you guys that have uh, have aided me in what I'm doing. I love the night view to this. I, I like the new pa I like the new palace garden too. I, I like the palace garden a bit. But uh, yeah, other than that, please, uh, as always, please keep dropping the links, keep dropping the love if you guys are still enjoying this series. I know a lot of you guys are here just for this series, and it's fantastic. But uh, please keep letting me know. Keep letting me know you dig the series. Please keep letting me know you're looking forward to more parts. Hoping the new schedule, if I don't space them out too up, oh, hope the new schedule isn't getting them out too slowly to you guys. Like I said, I just don't want to burn out. But that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you guys for coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thunder shout out. Peace late. We will have a new chow with hopefully an S in power ranking, unless I puss out and give up in the next part.